Hello there, how are you? We are, as you can see, in the forest and I want to talk about something new that I'm working on. So to do this, I wanted to take you out here into the forest because it is November and November is this month here in the Stockholm area in Sweden where I live that is a sort of in-between month. So. While October and September is this really colorful parts of autumn with a lot of leaves turning and it's, yeah, it's so beautiful. And then we have December when we tend to start to get frost and a little bit of snow. And November is just this in-between month where it tends to be quite dark and gloomy and cloudy and rainy and the leaves have fallen, most of them, and it's just turning very brown and a lot of people don't like november i think it's okay um, i dislike like february more <laughs> than i dislike november but it tends to be this month that is sort of yeah a little bit of a dreary process of sort of traveling from uh, from the colorful october autumn and into the winter and i wanted to bring you out here to look at november because it relates to this new thing that I've been working on. So there are times in our creative journey when things are exciting, we're starting new projects, we are having these really good realizations or we're working through something and we feel the momentum, or we're starting to get exciting results. And those times of the creative journey are nice, very nice. Those are the times where we look like light up when we feel oh it's so worth it but then there are the in-betweens that are not as exciting that is more about sticking by your creativity and keep moving on moving forward in your project and just returning to the joy of the process again and again um, and that's what my new thing is more about so i think also often online with the the things that we see, the, the, the ways that we get help. For example, right now we're, they're doing NaNoWriMo that, that I talked about in my last video, the month where people write 50,000 words in a novel. And that is very exciting. That is very exciting. Um, but what about all the other months when we sort of are thinking about what we want to write in, in NaNoWriMo or we're sort of ended up with this 50,000 words and we're not sure what to do with them or the editing process that can sometimes be a little bit dreary. <laughs> um, what about those parts? So I have really craved something in my creative journey that is more for the sort of everyday creative life that we're living and the challenges that we go through in those parts. So maybe we are facing resistance around something. or Maybe we are uh, just fed up with Instagram, <laughs> for example, or we're not seeing the results that we're getting. We're starting to doubt things. We're, we started, or we're getting perfectionistic or we're struggling to get any good habits because life is happening and we're pulled out of it. And there are all of these little different things in the lives of creatives and the everyday lives of creating. And I wanted to create something for that period because I think that is so important. The exciting parts are important, the focused parts are super important, but the parts that are just the everyday creative life, those are the ones that really make up a creative life. Those are the parts that makes us actually make those dreams and ideas happen, because it's not just the exciting parts, it's everything else as well. And I want to do something to support you get through the whole process, the whole season, all the months, not just the ones that are pretty and exciting. So I thought we would go out here into the forest and look for the beauty of November, the beauty of the in-between and find the joy here. So yeah, let's get looking. So, 
the beauty of November. Look at this. So in October, September, October, these turn from green to yellow. And now in November, they have sort of reached their final state before, before decaying um, and turning into soil. So they are very sort of orange brown. And this makes up so much of the colors here in the forest uh, during November and I just think there is such a gentle beauty of them. The ferns, are they called ferns? They are called ferns, right? Tell me in the comments, did I get that right? They are called Ormbunkar in Swedish, uh, which directly translated would be snake bolts, <laughs> which is weird, but that's what they're called. Um, so yeah. So, the thing I've been working on for a while now is a membership community. And, oh wow, I'm so excited about this! <laughs> uh, so, if you know me at all, you know that I've been doing one-to-one -one coaching for a while now. Uh, and I really, really love it. I really love that intimate space of helping someone through a part of the journey. And, yeah, it's just, it's so meaningful for me to, to do that work. But as I've been talking about for a little while now, I also want to have some sort of group setting where I can help people in a more group format because I also see so much the value of creative communities and having a group that you can sort of talk to and get other people's experiences and see what they are struggling with and see that you are struggling with the same thing as other people, which is so very often the case, but we don't see that because we only see sort of people's outside and see people's result. We don't see other people's processes as much. And so I really wanted to do something in a group format and I've landed on a membership community because I really want this to be a sort of long-term thing. I've been thinking about workshops. I did two workshops back in, in early in autumn and I've been thinking about courses, programs, and I, I think all of those things are super important, valuable, and can, can help a lot. And I'll probably do more of those things in the future. But for now, I really want to be able to help people over a longer period of time. Um, and a membership community feels like a perfect perfect way to do that so not just help people through a very small part of the process because the, the way that I work in creativity the way that I sort of recommend other people to work uh, in creativity is so much that it's a whole process it's it's the exciting parts but it's also the parts where you're just gonna keep moving forward and it's not gonna be super exciting you're going to have to return to your habits and your joy and your process again and again. You're going to have to remind yourself of the good mindsets um, and do that sort of everyday work of living a creative life. And I think that that's, that's where it happens. That's how it happens. That's how it has happened for me. Uh, I have had seasons uh, when I've been super like focused and done work that has really changed things for me, like the six month leap that I've been doing this year um, but then there have also been so many more parts where I'm just like been doing the work and I've been blogging I've been doing my photography I've been doing this YouTube channel and it's not been like super exciting super focused but it has built my creative life over time and that's what I want to help you guys with as well in this membership community cold i have knitted these wrist warmers that are just finished in time for dreary cold november so i'm gonna put them on what do you think 
I'm quite happy with them. They are a little bit tight, but I think that they will stretch out. So that is also a part that is getting a little bit colder. These things like knitting and baking, they become extra cozy when it's a little bit dark outside. Um, and that is also a part that I really love about November. And it's getting cozier, getting darker, getting colder. And we sort of return to those activities as well inside. And another thing that I really love is in here, behind me there are all well, these trees have their leaves have fallen off completely um, and this sort of yeah the bare trees stretching towards the sky but there is such a poetic beauty in it I think uh, that yeah it's not the obvious beauty but it's yeah I really really like it so to tell you a little bit more about my membership community then so we are going to be called Companions in Creativity and our main structure that we're going to follow is this seasonal cycle uh, that I have been sort of studying and developing and writing about and making videos about and I have this planning guide called Four Seasons of Creative Work and that I work with uh, as well. So we're going to have the four seasons as our main structure. Uh, so we're going to have seasonal planning calls. We're going to have now we're going to start here in November um, and in December we're going to have sort of end of the reflections. We're going to have um, sort of setting new goals and intentions and setting good process focus goals in January. Um, and then in between the sort of the, the main structure of the seasons, we're also going to have other things, other themes. So each month there will be one theme and we're going to have one sort of main theme call, uh, live call uh, that we all would hop on in Zoom. Um, so yeah, those calls will be around a the theme and sometimes the theme will be connected to the season. Sometimes it will be something else like maybe yeah, procrastination or habits or perfectionism or or something a little bit more concrete if you're interested in that. Maybe like photography or social media or those kind of things as well if we feel like we want to focus in on something. Uh, so yeah, I have a couple of months planned in. Uh, you can check out the page where I have all the info about companions, companions in Creativity if you want to see what we're up to in this first month of the membership. So in the future I'm also going to create some small courses. They're going to be one about sort of slow living, choosing a slower pace and slower, yeah, slower pace in your creativity. Um, that is one thing. Um, another course that I'm going to be working on in the new year is uh, more about sort of finding your direction, finding ideas, developing ideas, your creative compass, I call that one. Uh, and those will also be part of the membership. The planning guide, like I said, is part of the membership. And then we're also going to have co-working hours when you can come and show up and just chat for a bit and then focus on your own creative work. Um, I'm really looking forward to those as well, uh, to like come and work together. Like I think of it as a sort of a common room, a creative common room uh, where you can come say, hello, this is me, this is who I'm working on today. Um, and then just come there and focus on your own thing as a sort of gentle accountability and gentle sort of community feeling around doing your own work alongside each other. And we're also going to have a chat community that you can always show up in and talk with people. Um, so yeah, that will be held in Slack as well. And I'm also very happy to share sort of my behind the scenes in this. Um, the things that I'm working on, I will share those. And if you're interested in seeing the behind the scenes of how I do things, maybe how I film videos or how I write my blog post or something, uh, how my content plan looks, those kind of things, I'm very happy to share those in the membership as well. So yeah, that's the main structure of it. We're gonna have our monthly calls. We're gonna have our seasonal focus. Um, and we're going to have a chat community and co-working hours uh, sort of to have this yeah, communal spirit around the creative process that I'm, 
so looking forward to this <laughs> and then uh, i like i'm just starting it now so i assume it's going to develop a little bit over time uh, we'll see what you guys really like if there's something that you think would be helpful that we can add uh, or if there is something that isn't used as much yeah we'll see how it develop o develops over time and this is what i also really really love about starting membership uh, because sometimes it can feel like there's so short like limited periods of things like with a workshop for example uh, like okay i can hold that workshop again but i really like that the membership can grow and change over time that it can be a consistent and if if you're in a system when you really want to just focus on doing the work and have a community around that you can join the membership for a couple of months and if things sort of change for you and you are pulled in another direction you can leave for a couple of months and you can come back and I really love this yeah I really love this honing and um, building something over time it feels so nice as well for from my standpoint as the creator um, I really love that and to nurture that and to build a community together with you guys <sighs> yeah I'm really looking forward to it so that is my new thing you can check it out uh, I'll leave the link down in the description and um, it's the doors are gonna open on Wednesday uh, so yeah for now you can check out more about it and from Wednesday you can join and if you join in the first week you get the first month three first month free <laughs> so you can if you're not sure you can sort of have a look around and see if it's for you as well so yeah ah uh, god i i can't tell you how excited i am about this and here's the interesting thing so when we're working on something we can be like super excited ex inspired sort of um we can be very, very high energy and this when I've been working on this, I haven't had a high energy, but I have that this sort of gentle burn pull inside of me that says, yes, this is right. This is what I'm supposed to do. And I really, really love that. So, yeah, it feels like so many strands of my own creativity coming together with the seasons, with the joy of the process that I think is so important. Being able to talk about mindset things over a longer period of time. Um, and sort of the more cozy everyday work of a creative life as well. Not just the exciting, super focused parts, but the everyday parts of a creative life. I really love that. So, yeah, that's, that's the thing I've been working on. And that's the thing that is starting very soon and will be going on for, yeah, for the foreseeable future. We'll see. <laughs> Calling here it's nearing 4 p.m. here which means it's gonna be dark soon so I'm gonna head back inside um, and yeah in this dreary November day that is actually very beautiful in some way and this is what we what we need we need to find the beauty in our everyday creative lives as well not just in the days where everyone is cheering and it feels exciting but in the days that is the in between the november days the november weeks the november seasons so yeah i really do love november even if it's an in-between month it's dark but it's cozy it has this sort of rugged beauty beauty of it um a bit raw a bit a bit real i would say um dark cloudy um, but very still um, often has this misty uh, misty kind of uh, weather to it that creates a little bit of a hush as well um, sometimes the rain is beating on the windows and it's cozy and you get to light the candles and people are starting to put up uh, lights in their gardens and such and it's just a, a season to settle in and focus on the things that are cozy, on the everyday work 
and I'm gonna focus on opening the doors to companions and creativity. So that is what I wanted to share today. I hope you're having a wonderful day and it will continue to be wonderful. Hope you're having a good November, starting November. Those of you who are doing NaNoWriMo, I'm cheering you on. And yeah, that is all for today. I hope you enjoyed this little talk, regardless of whether you are interested in joining or not. I hope you, in, yeah, I hope you liked see, hearing a little bit of why I'm doing this and what I think is important about the whole creative process as well. So give this video a little like if you enjoyed it. And if you're new here, hello and welcome. You can subscribe down below and I will see you in the membership perhaps or in the next video or in the Q&A on Wednesday. Have a good one. Bye bye.